the fourth annual E-Legacy Awards presentation lunch. Uh, my name's Neil Whittingham, as you can see from the slide. It's the first year I've had a slide, so I'm quite excited. Um, my role in today's proceedings, as always, is brief, but I will be appearing in the Hot Ricardo at the Bob Hope Theatre uh, in Elton in October, so see me for tickets. <coughs> uh, without further ado, I'm going to pass you over to your Master of Ceremonies for today, the Victor Meldrew of Electronics, Mr. Timothy Crock. Well, last year I was uh, Jack D. This year I'm Victor Meldrew, so I think I'm getting grumpy or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I extend my welcome to, uh, to everybody to the fourth annual E-Legacy Awards. I hope you've enjoyed that excellent lunch and you're now ready for the main business of today, which is not the trip to the Builders Arms, that will come later. I'm talking of course about the, uh, the presentation of the E-Legacy Awards 2010. Now, last year was my first year as presenter of these awards and I stood up. Rap with nerves, because this public speaking lark is really out of my comfort zone completely. And I rambled on for about half an hour. Far too long. It did give some of you a chance to uh, have a quick nap, of course, before the uh, interesting bit started. But you're going to have to stay awake this year, so if I learn the lesson, I'm going to keep it brief. However, there are two subjects I must make fleeting reference to. Uh, the first one, as you may have noticed from our decor, all around us, this is a special year for EPD. Uh, it was 30 years ago that, uh, 30 years ago this month, that Electronic Product Design was first published. Uh, now, obviously, I'm far too young to have been involved back at that stage, but it was only uh, six or seven years later that I did my first shift on the editorial team as a cub reporter, working under the guidance of Graham Profit. Uh, Graham was just one of the many editors who uh, has helped forge EPD's reputation an enduring place in the UK electronics industry. Uh, and Graham and many of the others are still familiar faces, and I'm delighted to say that we have uh, a couple of them here with us today. Uh, the current EPD team owes a huge debt of gratitude to those who have come before us. <laughs> I'd like to say that uh, Caroline nodded at that point. <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, I don't think any of those early EPD pioneers, or any of the rest of us who were around back in 1980, could have imagined that we would have uh, taken all the following products I'm going to show you now. Here we have a zero megapixel camera. <laughs> so, a rustic TV, probably without preview, I'd imagine. Uh, for those too young to recognise that, it's a rapid player. A personal organiser. You could probably still like, get that today as a retro phone, in all honesty. A Space Invaders machine. And that, of course, was the era of the very first desktop computers. Um, now, nobody could have imagined that we would have taken the functions of all of those pieces of, piece of equipment and replaced them with one single device, uh, usually with uh, much higher performance, of course, uh, although I appreciate that are the vinyl record anoraks who might disagree with that. So. But there are consequences to all of this, of course. Uh, which leads me right to my second point. Uh, the equipment that I just showed you very soon becomes obsolete, has no value, and is thrown away. And this brings with it environmental issues of its own. And some of these issues can be dealt with uh, by legislation, some can be dealt with by clever design, but it remains a big problem. Conversely, advances in electronics have allowed us to take better control of our environment, reduce our impact upon it, and provide better services to society, particularly in the likes of medicine and education. And what I'm coming around to, of course, is that 30 years of electronics has changed society. And four years ago, EPD launched the E-Legacy Awards to recognise those companies who have made this change a positive one. 
Uh, for this year's uh, awards, we once again had a fabulous array of, of entries. Uh, and this is encouraging, uh, encouraging from the point of view that uh, many of them were the first email today uh, during the deepest recession in living memory. Uh, and that uh, shows that the electronics industry is one that always looks at the future. Uh, in many cases, the judges find it very difficult to reduce the, the field down to four. And in one case, investment in education, uh, such was the diversity of the entries, that we decided to extend the, the finalist field to eight. Uh, before we get round to announcing the actual winners, uh, I would like to thank everybody who did enter this year. From what I can gather, the very act of entering uh, does a uh, company's internal image no end of good because people do like to feel proud of the company that they work for. And of course, congratulations to all of the finalists. You really have provided a stellar range of projects. Now, the readers of EPD uh, have uh, voted for their favourites. The votes have been counted, and the uh, trophies over to my left have been uh, engraved with the winner's name. Uh, Liz Marchant is going to come up on stage to make sure that we give the right trophy to the right person. Now, Liz has been the prime coordinator of today's event, uh, so I'd ask you to give her a well-earned round of applause. Here.